Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is your picture of Rie on your screen. Yes, good morning everyone. So for today, we are going to have the measures of central tendency for ungrouped data. Yes, you heard it right. Ito na yung lesson natin for today. And this is our module of the week. I hope you already have this copy of the module. So in this module, we have six objectives. But for the meantime, let's have the two objectives first. And before we proceed to our main topic, let's have this problem. The following data are the ages of 13 randomly selected residents of Barangay for Lawa, Paway, Locos, Norte. We have 14, 16, 2, 10, 6, 1, 22, 16, 13, 28, 4, 8, and 16. We're going to answer the following questions. Question number one, what is the sum of the data set? When the set of data is arranged in ascending or descending order, what is the middle value? Number three, what number appeared most? So, tandaan niyo yung questions na yan. Itong problem na to actually. Kasi dito magsisirculate ang ating lesson for today. So, there are three aspects in the measures of central tendency. We have the mean, the median, and the mode. So, let us now differentiate the three. Ano nga ba ang pinagkaiba ng tatlong ito? In terms of symbol, the symbol for mean is this. X bar. Ito naman, yung X wave, para may wave siya. Median. And for the mode, ganyan siya. X hat. Hat parang sombrero, ganon. And in terms of the keyword, keyword for mean is average. The keyword for median is middle. The keyword for mode is the most frequent. Mean is greatly affected by extreme values. Median is not affected by extreme values. Mode is slightly affected by extreme values. People commonly used mean as the measures of central tendency and median is uncommonly used and so with the mode. Mean is the most reliable measures of central tendency and median is slightly reliable while the mode is not reliable. Mean is the most valid Median is not valid and so with the mode. And in the set of data, there is only one mean. Median, in, there is only one median for a data set. While the mode, pwede kang magkaroon ng maraming mode. Pag-iisa lang, meaning it's unimodal. Pag dalawang mode, bimodal. Pag tatlong mode, Trimodal at pag 4 pataas ang mode, multimodal. Now, let's have the formulas on how to find the mean, the median, and the mode. Take a look at this one. Screenshot nyo na lang or balikan nyo na lang later. Mean, meaning the sum of the data values divided by the number of data. While median naman, i-arrange mo yung data. It's either from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Basta i-arrange mo yung mga numbers. Now, tignan mo yung nasa 
gitna. If the number of data is odd, the middle term is the median. If the number of data is even, get the average of two numbers in the middle. While the mode, look for the most frequent number and then identify if it is a unimodal, bimodal, trimodal, or multimodal. Now, let's apply all of this in this problem. Yan. Ito yung problem kanina. So, question number one. What are the sum and the average of the data set? So, as you can see, dito yung problem kanina. The first thing we need to do is have the formula x bar equals the sum of the data values all over the number of data. Now, ayan, isinulat ko lahat ng data values. 14 plus 16 plus 2 plus 10 plus 6 plus 1 plus 22 plus 16 plus 13 plus 28 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16. Divided by the number of data which is 13 kasi yung bilang dito is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. Kaya 13 yung nilagay ko dito. We have 148 divided by 13 kasi pag pinag plus mo silang lahat you have 148 divided by 13 and we are down with 11.38 so therefore answering this question now we have the mean age is 11.38 so that's it for the mean let's proceed to the median when the set of data is arranged in order what is the middle value Basta pag sinabing in order is either median or mode yung hinahanap. Pero nandun yung clue word natin na middle. So, we use median. The first thing we need to do is to write all the data. We have 14, 16, 2, 10, 6, 1, 22, 16, 13, 28, 4, 8, 16. And the next thing we need to do is to arrange the data in Ascending order or descending order, depende kayo ng katyo, basta shock, lowest to highest, or ascending order. Now, I will identify which number is on the middle. Ayan, 13. Agpa-partner da. Di lang awan partner na ni 13. Therefore, it is the middle term. Therefore, the median age of the 13 residents is 13. Let's proceed to the number appeared most, which is the mode. The mode, the local, no, the kaaduan nga nagparanga number. So, using the arranged data, tignan mo na dyan kung alin dyan yung number na may pinakamaraming frequency. So, as we can see, we have 16. Kasi namin talo isuna, the rest nagagay sa lang. Therefore, the mode of the ages of 13 students is 16. It is unimodal. Ape nga unimodal? Kasi may salang tibod na which is 16. 16 is only 1. So it is unimodal. Now comparing all the results, in terms of mean, we got 11.38. Median, we have 13. And the mode is 16. So, the most reliable, as we have said earlier, is the mean. So, tignan nyo na lang dyan ng pinagkaiba ng tatlo. Let's try another problem. A math teacher recorded the number of minutes spent by 10 grade 7 students to solve 50 mathematical problems. And the record shows 58, 56, 68, 48, 40, 60, 48, 54, 58, and 55. We are going to find the mean, median, and the mode. The first thing we need to have is to solve for the mean. So using the formula, sum of the data values divided by the number of data, ayan siya. 58 plus 56 plus 68 plus 58 plus 40 plus 60 plus 48 plus 54 plus 58 plus 55 all over 10. Kasi, sampo yung students. O, bilangin natin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. O, there are 10 data. There are 4, 10 yung ilalagay ko dyan. 
and the sum now is 545 divided by 10 therefore your mean is 54.5 now let's have the median First thing is to write all the data, ayan siya, and then arrange them in ascending or descending order. So, yung ginawa ko, ascending order. 40, 48, 48, 54, 55, 56, 58, 58, 60, 68. Ayan, at titignan ko dyan kung alin yung nasa gitna. So, definitely, yung 40 pair siya sa 68, yung 48 pair siya sa 60, 58 pairs of 58, 54 to 58, and may dalawang natirang nasa gitna at walang iisang term na nasa gitna. So, what you are going to do is to find for the average of the two, 55 plus 56 divided by 2. Therefore, yung nasa gitna niya ay 55.5. Bear with my writing. <laughs> Basta 55.5. Yan. Therefore, the median is 55.5. And that's it for the median. Now, let's proceed to the mode. Using the arranged data, tignan na natin dyan kung ano yung mga numbers na naulit-ulit. So, we have 48 and 58. Ito, yung dalawang to. The rest, tig-iisa na. And it is bimodal. Bimodal kasi dalawa yung mode niya. Yung 48 at 58. So, dalawa, therefore, bimodal. And comparing the results, we have mean equals 54.5, median equals 55.5, and the mode, we have 48 and 58. And if you want to integrate ICT using the measures of central tendency lesson, just follow the Microsoft Excel activity. Ito na, i-screenshot nyo na lang lahat ng slides na ipapakita ko. First thing you need to do is to open your Microsoft Excel and input all the data needed. Then, highlight the data and copy-paste in another column and then click the arrow then choose smallest to highest and then ayan na siya and then encode the formula or click the formulas installed in the Microsoft Excel and that's it now it's your turn open your modules and do the activities assigned to you by your teacher thank you for watching and good bless you all so that